Some of you might remember that this piece of tree I salvaged when they cut it down and turned it into a planter during the winter with the yellow flowers and the ferns and I put the bulbs in, tulip bulbs. Well, there it is with the tulip bulbs. It's looking rather good. I'm rather pleased. They were a bedraggled bunch of um, tulips but they seem to have done a really good job. I'm very pleased with um, how they've come out. So it's looking really good. I'm very excited by that. Mind you, my uh, surround is polluted with ground elder, not the nicest of plants. Not much use for ground elder myself, to be honest. I love the combination of this burnt orange tulip with this hydrangea leaf. It looks really, really lovely. So nice. This is another of my favorite combinations is this heuchera with these wonderful um, tulips. They really work well together. The colors between the uh, heuchera and this tulip are rather lovely. I'm very pleased with that result. As always, I love this red tulip against the wall and with the dandelion yellow in the foreground, it just looks lovely and a beautiful German Shepherd to walk through it. Over here, these tulips, even though they kind of match the door, they clash with the rock rose but they're actually looking really kind of nice. A combination of the bluebells, the rock rose, and those tulips. And then if you look at it from that angle, you see the tulips against the wall as well. So that's looking nice. This is beginning to go over. It was a fantastic hellebore combination. You can see the seeds are ripening in this hellebore. And then this, of course, very pleased with this pot, with its waterfall of uh, petunias and bidens. And look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? That tulip, bunch of tulips with the wisteria. It really, look at that. Ah, oh, what a wonderful combination. It really worked. There are times when I'm very pleased with how things work. Then this wonderful combination of tulips and um, heuchera. I just love these ones are fantastic. The coloring of them are just amazing. But the combination of those two is just, ah, isn't that just gorgeous? I love that. Ignore the nettle, but it looks gorgeous there. Now, coming up through the potting shed, the geums are looking fantastic against, those are the orange flowers. These are the geums. And they're looking fantastic against the, uh, whoops, I tripped over the dog. Uh, against the black of the vine house. And over here, I'm loving this set of tulips. Now, I thought I was clever, but it was a mistake that actually works quite well. I ended up getting two different kinds of tulips. These ones that are yellowy and red, and then these ones that are red and white. And they actually work really well together because I got loads at one place and I went somewhere else and I said, oh, these are the same. I can put more together, but they're two different ones. You can see the whiter ones and the yellow ones, but they work really well. I'm really, really pleased with how those are turned out. And then back over here, I love this tulip. It is just beautiful against the black of the water tank and it actually almost goes with this other pot that I've just planted up recently of that 
geranium. They're almost the same pink. The geranium and that tulip are nearly the same. So that's kind of fun. And these are looking good. These are gonna grow out soon. These are white and they smell good. And then these pink roses come out and it's magnificent. I love this bed. But that's all looking really, really gorgeous. Then walking along here, this bed is looking magnificent. It's maturing well. Uh, years of planting and sowing seeds and things like that. It's all purples and pinks and those kind of limey greens. Look at all the uh, different blues. It's really, ah, oh, so exciting. And this GM, this is a different co colored GM as well. But it's looking so beautiful. I'm so pleased with how it's beginning to mature. Looking great. What can I say? But years of mistakes make things look magnificent. Oh, look. There's a white honesty in amongst all the purple honesty. <laughs> I love it. And here's, these were a few scrappy tulips that were left over from a bag. They were a remainder bag. And then here are some beautiful kind of purple ones. Really pretty. Look at those. They're like sherbets. And look at these white ones. They are magnificent with the yellow on the inside. Now, I do have a soft spot for these green ones. These green and white ones are rather lovely. So time's trying to get involved. So those are all looking really, really good. And then it's about to rain, so my cushion's gone. The cat's there. And then of course, these are looking great. They're beginning to go over and fading, but they're still magnificent. And these orange ones are coming on. Oh, and I've got a cat on my shoulder, jumped up so. on me. <laughs> this is who jumped up on me as I was filming the red tulips. Oh, as you can see. <laughs> anyway. Red tulips and kitties. What can I say? <laughs> oh, and it's starting to rain. I better go. But anyway, happy Sunday. And that's a little abbreviated tour of my tulips that are out and about at the moment. Hope you enjoy it.